Romeo Company, be advised we have reports of Covenant suicide squads. You've got to be kidding me. That's a negative. Your eyes open. As a kid, one of my most fond memories was when my brother brought Halo Combat Evolved home. I was too young to play the game myself, but I loved watching him run through the campaign. It was unlike any game I had seen before. Those early memories ignited my deep love and passion for the franchise. While I don't love every direction it has gone, I remain a fan. I recently got back into the Halo Mega Constructs hobby, and I love to see how far the products have come since the Mega Bloks days, as I plan to get back into making stop-motion videos and painting my figures for a better, custom look. I found LS3D online. He designs and prints custom pieces for the Mega Construct line, and I must say, he is a master of his craft. As a 3D printer, I can testify to his product's quality and extraordinary work. I am not partnered with him, merely a fan who cared to add his voice to any interest. However, I reached out to LS3D and told him I would make this review video. His response was, I only ask that you are honest. With that, I will say my only negative comment up front. The products can get expensive. The time spent making the models, printing the pieces, cleaning and prepping is fair. However, if you go through and make a fully custom figure, as I'll show at the end of the video, those parts start to add up quickly. That is my only negative comment. For everything else, I have nothing but praise. Now on to the actual showcase. I began with his custom head for Sergeant Johnson. His face, accompanied by his iconic cigar, shows greater detail than the mass-produced Mega Constructs figure. On this ODST, LS3D created this beautiful saw. Only some things custom to this figure are his product. His print does not come with a bipod as seen here. However, it shows the degree of customization available with new pieces. This custom printed saw turned this trooper into a saw gunner. When looking for ways to make each trooper stand out from another, the main options are the paint job and armor. This showcase only displays the prints as the ship in black resin or with a white coat of primer. I waited to paint so that this video could focus on the prints' details and highlight their quality. This trooper is rocking Dutch's helmet from Halo ODST 3. All of Alpha 9's helmets are available on his website, but Dutch has always been my favorite. Additionally, I included a boot knife for him. This piece from LS3D has a knife blade removable from the sheath. When sheathed, it looks beautiful and accurate in-game. But best of all, he includes a peg piece you can slide the blade's hilt into, allowing the figure to hold the knife. This brilliant design allows for both utility and appearance. LS3D has a massive list of options to choose from. I also picked up this Firefall helmet, seen in Halo Infinite. These helmets are an absolute win for me, as they have far greater detail than the standard pieces in a Mega set. The attachments and designs are unique enough to let each piece stand out while remaining accurate to their in-game counterparts. Look at this Honor Guard Counselor. The helmet, shoulders, and leg pieces speak for themselves. The Energy Sword is also a custom from LS3D. Now, compare that to the standard sword held by the Shipmaster. I can't add much more. This figure speaks for itself. Another armor set for the Elites. The Silent Shadow Helmet and Minor Shoulder and Leg Pieces. Compared to the standard Elite armor, this once again proves to be a beautiful upgrade. Mega has not released a silent shadow figure themselves, but LS3D's got your back. Also, that red energy sword. Outstanding. There is no released skewer from Mega, but look at this print. The scale. The detail. Perfect. I was nervous of this piece, as I was afraid of breaking it. When I first opened up my package, I immediately fumbled and dropped this piece five feet to the floor. No damage whatsoever. This weapon is sturdy. As I mentioned earlier, I love Halo. However, honestly, I'm not too fond of the armor design from 4 and 5. I could army build, but I hated their appearance. Until I got the minor helmets from LS3D, my Covenant forces looked inconsistent. Now they are beautiful, and I am satisfied. Now for the highlight of the entire hall, my custom Spartan. I chose these pieces based on the armor set I used in Halo Reach. Everything but the rubber hinge pieces seen on the elbows, shoulders, and upper legs are entirely from LS3D. This figure has far more articulation available than a standard figure. The increased size is more fitting of the Halo universe, 
and the ball joints on the ankles make dynamic posing significantly better. If you collect Halo products, are a fan of Mega, customize your figures, or found any of this showcase interesting, you owe it to yourself to check out LS3D's website, link in the description. Also head on over to his Instagram and give him a follow. He is consistent with updating his projects and interacting with his customers. Lastly, if you are a significant fan of his work, he has a patron with all the incentives listed there. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking, subscribing, and checking out my other videos. If you are new to the channel or a long-term subscriber, this channel is going through a major change. I am focusing on returning to my hobbies of stop motion and animation. If there is a displayed interest, I will continue to post updates of my mega collection and post other related videos. Stay tuned, big things are coming. Stay blessed.